Today I'm going to share some EFI for 6th gen and 7th gen CPUs. Basically these are built for Intel i5-6500 but it should work with 6th gen and 7th gen other CPUs as well. So basically you, if you have some uh, compatible graphics card like RX 580 you can use this one and if you don't have you can use the other one that is with built-in iGPU but uh, one thing you have to remember that for 6th gen and 7th gen there is some uh, trouble with iGPU so this could cause issues with sleep and other things so sleep can't be fixed with iGPU so if you have iGPU you have to bear with that and I am running with macOS Sequoia currently you can install Contre uh, or other things and then it will work up to Sequoia as well so you just need to do first uh, download the EFI folder and extract it use OAC auxiliary tools to edit them you can just open then update few things first you need to update if you have any compatible wireless card I updated for all new Intel cards here so I use something like this PCI to USB and Bluetooth combo uh, combo card so you can see my Bluetooth is working Wi-Fi is working so if you have any card like that you can just enable this one two three four text here and you need to use uh, this heliport app for Wi-Fi it is a stable better it is better stable than airport WAM so I think using this will be better and the second thing is you have to update this platform info you can change your system product name here I am using iMac 191 you can do it the same but generate a new one so you can generate then copy the serial number you have to check whether it's valid or not so you can paste here if it's valid then don't use that only use it when it's a uh, wrong one okay. P, 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 X, y. when you get a notification like please enter a valid serial number use only that don't use any valid serial that will cause you some trouble after installing so when these are done and if you don't have this card Wi-Fi or Bluetooth card don't enable them and then just save and use it from your bootable pen drive or somewhere if you are having any issues you can contact me or my send a comment I will update them and uh, for RX 580 2084 SP you will find another video on the channel how to make them compatible with macOS thank you